Hello, hi. Please never be fooled by this company. See, DTC is the most bad company in the UAE. Trust me. They don't pay us. They ask us to pay for our own visas. Yet we have been working for them. How can you work for the company for three years, no vacation, they don't pay you good salary, and on top of that, when the visa is about to finish, they tell you to pay for your own visa. Oh my God. I don't know what's wrong with this company. The UAE RTA DTC Dubai Tax Company is so bad. Each and every driver is crying. Please, if you see anyone putting on this uniform, just feel sorry for him. Because this company is the most bad company. Imagine, which company cannot give his employee uniform? You have to pay for the uniform. That's how bad it is. You have to pay for the uniform. Hmm? I see many companies that have many employees, but they get paid and they give them uniforms. But in Dubai Taxi, we don't get paid. Like, how can you pay someone who has worked for a full month and you give that someone 100 dirham? 100 and some get paid less than that you get a card the visa card you receive salary of 30 dirham when you cannot even remove that money that how bad it is you work and work and work you don't get any day off they don't let you go home you don't get paid on top of that, they want you to pay for your own visa. Is this a government company or is a, a company from garbage? I don't know. I don't know how to say RTA and DTC. Please, if you don't know how to manage a company, just throw it away or give it to uh, private sections. If you as a government, RTA is a government entity. How can you be there treat drivers like this? We are frustrated. We don't go home. Me, myself, I lost people, but I cannot go home. Hi, please, please just help me and like. Please share this video. I want this video to reach to Al Maktoum. Yes, Al Maktoum. Please, we need your help as drivers in your own company. In your own company DTC DTC we are treated so bad we don't get paid look at the money we get paid 200 400 uh, 100 and some drivers get paid less than that yet we work so hard you work for a full month and you get paid this amount and this amount and this amount how do you think we can survive on that hmm? we cannot survive on that please RTA and DTC your government entities but you're treating us so bad I don't know if the laws of the UAE doesn't work on these two companies RTA and DTC because everything is so bad you cannot get your passport in peace. Once you get it out, they put abscond in you. The passport, the UAE laws say, I must own my passport. You have no authority to capture my passport. But if I'm to get my passport, I have to go to the court. And after that, DTC, RTA, they put abscond in you. That's what happened to me. And I'm here in Dubai suffering. See? They don't pay us. How can you pay someone 100? How do you expect me to 
survive in UAE. Someone was telling me to change and go get another job. It's very complicated, my dear. The DTC company doesn't want you to leave the company and go work somewhere else. All they want, if you are to leave DTC, they want you to just go home. And if you ask them to let you go, they don't want to let you go home. So you just have to do everything. You go to the court, you, you get the court order, you get your passport. Immediately after you get the passport, they put abscon. You cannot exit. You have to put in money. Money that they have been not paying you. They pay you this amount and this amount yet you're working every day what is this uae government please please i'm still here requesting all of you to help me out and fight the injustice that is in this company dtc and today i'm here to clarify those who are asking me in my comments why don't you just leave the company and go this company you cannot just leave I'm not the only one. You can see that guy also. You can follow him. His name is up there. He's also being tortured and there are very many. Those of you who don't know, in Nepal, the DTC Dubai Taxi Company was cancelled to apply visas in that country because many of their people are crying because of DTC. So today I'm here to clarify on something that DTC chose to fight with is overpayment. In DTC, once you want to leave, because in the contract that we signed, there is nothing that can prevent you from going home. And in the contract, it says we have to go home each and every year with the a ticket the ticket to take you and the ticket to bring you back plus the salary that you will be having or the money that you'll be using when you're in the vacation but no one in dtc can get that no one no one and in the money that they deduct they deduct money that concerns the the upkeep for a driver that when you're about to leave the company, they give that money to you. It has never been given to anyone. In DTC, they don't give us vacation. And it's in the contract that we must have a vacation every year. But no one, me, I've been in DTC for three years, but I've never got any vacation I've, I've never got a free ticket that it's included in the in the contract. What I'm telling you is all included in the it's all included in the contract, but they don't give us vacation. If you ask for vacation, what they do, they start telling you you have overpayment. But we didn't sign for anything concerning the overpayment that if I'm deciding to go home, I have to look into my overpayment. It's not there. Overpayment has nothing to do with me going for vacation. That's the contract.